day, day of... Ah, no, I'm forgetting the lyrics of that one. Oh, we're, we're live! Hello there, viewers! Um, Silent Service here, back with more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and then also... Um, <laughs> what is most likely going to be me um, picking up an instrument again because of loading screens taking too long. <laughs> This is episode eight. Oh, fuck off. I. Mistakes were made, okay? <laughs> Mistakes were made um, on the Twitch end of things. Uh, this is gonna be so confusing when it comes. Uh, no, I can actually just sort it out. Um, sort it out in post when I'm exporting this out to YouTube. Um, Oh, France and Britain are at war. The Panzer Chiefs have come out this turn. Uh, so... That's great. What's next there? M modern battle cruisers at a turn. I'm actually going to slightly delay that because... We're still building modern battleships. Like, we still... Need to finish off our modern battleships. Thinking we're gonna get rid of the Coro, the Coro Nell class because we've got newer cruisers to. We got newer cruisers to take the spots of the Coro Nels, and so. Let's see right now, so deselect. You guys are scrapped. The rest of you will follow scrapping shortly. And also, we will bring the Vladimir in for its rebuild. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Vladimir class are a class of battle cruisers we have um, essentially stolen off of the Russians. But yeah, modern battle cruisers, we just got the new heavy cruisers out, so it's either going to be new light cruisers or destroyers. I'm thinking more destroyers because we we did recently make a new a new ish light cruiser design that is not on an obsolete hull. Although we did get more light cruiser hulls and we did get more destroyer hulls. We have more heavy cruise we have other heavy cruiser hulls to use as well, but um Think of it this way, um, we've just, we just built heavy cruisers. We built our um, first Panzer Chiefs. I think I used this heavy cruiser hull. Yeah, I used it for Orion. Uh, heavy cruiser 1, I'm not using because of... Now this is more like um, the Hipper hull, I'm thinking. Um, that can wait. So I used Scout Cruiser last time for those guys. If Light Cruiser 5, which is, um, yeah, sort of like um, more under the German stuff, and then Light Cruiser 6 here. So Light Cruiser 5 is going to be my next ship to build and he's a sent it's essentially going to be um
You know what? Let's let's just skip Light Cruiser Five and go to Light Cruiser Six. This is sort of like a more destroyer leader esque hull, if I'm getting sort of the vibe of this hull correct. Um, sort of like um, uh, that that hull that the French used to have. Um, you know that I'm saying you know like you should know that hull. Um, but for those that don't, the French used to have a um, a really good um, destroyer leader like light cruiser hull, and the devs got rid of it because of I don't know why they got rid of it, but they, but they got rid of it, and I'm. I'm sad they did because I really love that hull. Um, ah, I have to keep you there as that's a structure boat. Okay, now I'm actually going to go with six, uh, twin sixes instead of triple sixes. Um, slightly lighter one, but also it does make a in, a theoretically better refit to go with than um, going straight from singles to triples. And I'll wait for the next um, variant of it to go triples because yeah, you can go uh, twin open mounts as <coughs> stuff that's been done before is all fine, but <coughs> I just find it quite strange when um, there there are triple open mounts. Although there is also one case in history of that happening that I am aware of, I will add, and that is um, the renowned class battle cruisers in their, well for renown it's her initial state, but um, Repulse she never, she never lost all her triple four inch guns, like Repulse um, kept hers right up until she sank because um, Repulse never got the um, massive rebuild that um, was given to Renown. Okay, no reloads. Just standard 33. Range down. Balanced. Okay. We've got our destroyer leader Munchen. And then we will be producing a newer class of destroyers now. Um, well, replacements. <laughs> well, I say replacements, it's replacement slash, um, Continuing on destroyer design stuff. Bob 
that there. And introduce the twin four inch guns. All four and aft and A quintuple launcher there. Oil induced. Let's actually go with the smallest variant because we can go with the smallest variant. Gear turbines. I say Org 3 is good enough for a destroyer. If you have disagreements with my statement of it's good enough for a destroyer, um, screw you, it's my ship designs and so it's my my choice of what the fuck I do with them. self-promotional stuff. Um, Cordite 3, Electro Hydro, yeah, reduce 21 inch tubes. Point so, RDF, Hydro, point five, nothing, nothing, not a thing at all. Anywhere else on the ship. I said not a thing at all anywhere else on the ship, that includes turret armor. Right, um, there, there, 35, not any other speeds. Yes. Right, I guess, um, guess we try this way, this layout. So we are keeping the four three inch guns, just we're, we're swapping over where the superimposed one side of things is at. Okay, V2, welcome to the Navy. You're in the Navy now. Okay, Turingen. Turingen can go in because she's now finally back at port. Um, Munchen. Six of you. V2. Twenty one of you. So there's two more turns left for our attempts to take North and Hokkaido. Now again, this 
Te technically, I'm not breaking my rules because it's no longer a home province because the nation it was the home province of is dissolved, gone from history, but it's also still sort of breaking my rules of don't take home provinces. Technically, because economically collapsed nations can come back. Okay. Yeah, enough involving us. Mark three fourteen inch guns. The Munchens are already seeming popular just off the just straight off the design block. Uh, no, we need to commission you. Panzer Sheaf! <laughs> the Panzer Sheaf's found something, everyone! Okay, time to actually go and fight then, because it's. Because, come on, we're not going to miss the first fight of the Panzer Sheafs. <laughs> Okay, transports are armed. That is to keep in mind. That is uh, armored cruiser, not a actual heavy cruiser. But technically, we're an armored cruiser as well. Technically, with the Panzer sheep, but. cares. We're a panzer sheep. We're a panzer sheep. Of course we can destroy anything that comes in our path. That we can't outrun. Or we can outrun these. <laughs> so. but, yeah. Of course we can destroy any other cruiser around. We almost did it to, they almost did it to HMS Exeter. No, Exeter is ours. You can you can let her live and we'll sink the Exeter ourselves, don't worry. Sorry, I'm joking on that front, but 
But yeah, Exeter survived on the Panzer Chiefs, but couldn't survive Japan. That's their problem. speed ramming hard over hard over no even going hard over we can't ram okay outcome victory victory is ours screw you china um Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's end it. Tavia and a no Bavaria, sorry, and Orion head out and Frankfurt and Wiesbaden, uh, Wiesbaden, sorry, will um join you. people's existences. That's a 1924 tech and we don't have... Yeah, we're behind on Krupp armor tech.
peace has been signed. They just literally got a new battleship off and we can't we can't steal it. Double geared steam turbines, new battle cruisers, eight large center line guns. No, Netherlands, we're not giving you another. Okay, we didn't take that. That's fine, we can. Well, we kind of need to send you guys into a port now anyway, so. Into port you go. Yep, we are um, completely going bankrupt right now. Everyone not currently at sea. Go to in being, please. Thank you. Um, that hasn't helped. Um, this will help a tad bit. This will also help. <laughs> but we're still at a massively large deficit of cash. Um, but then what do you expect from a top heavy fleet? Top heavy fleet of over 130 ships. But, yeah, more of the more of the Coronel class will um, be sent off to be sent off to their um, to their death. Coronel, goodbye for and Cormoran as well. Goodbye. Uh, kiddly do kiddly diddly. Uh, okay, Von Bismarck's team. Yeah, we. Got a load of stuff that still needs to be done. Okay. Play into in being all across the board now. That hasn't helped a single a single bit. Okay, um, all destroyers from V30 all the way down to here, you're all going to limited fleet. That hasn't helped. Okay, Johann Christian Bach, it's now your time to go goodbye because, well, yeah, your class was, your class is over. Von Turpitz, Westfalen, and Odin are on the way still. 
the last of the veterans, Kaiser Friedrich the third, will be going out to the Dutch next turn. Some of our refits are completed as well. Okay, we failed to gain control there, oh well. All of you there except for um, Rostock and Wiesbaden who will be going into there. Have one last conquest to complete. And then those guys will have to go home. Um, Temporarily suspend that refit. No, it doesn't even help. But no, resume that refit actually, because then I can just get it out of the way. I'm going to temporarily suspend instead the Von Terpitz class. No, suspending them hasn't helped the funds go to where I wanted the funds to go. Um, okay, we're suspending our build, our build dimensions. Okay, that's some more guys back in ports, which means some more money's come back in to our budget. Improve ballistic tip. Okay, I guess we're trying again up here. Um, just this time we have it. We're having the main fleet do it. Mark three fifteens on the way. Okay, we just got a massive budget boost as well from somewhere. Whatever caused it, thank you. Um, in terms of naval funds wise, massive boost. Um, Sweden's now gone for France. Okay, um. Yeah, CA wise, we still got three coronels that need to go through with um, go through with being scrapped. Um, Hopefully in a turn from now we can send we can send the fleet home. The fleet that's out there right now home. And then we can actually We can actually um Just then focus on peacetime stuff. We're not building any more for people yet, right now. Um, what we are doing is we are finishing the taking over of Equator Equatorial Guinea, uh, Guiana, sorry, and um, 
You guys. Uh... No, you're not the end of plea. What? What plea are you? Um. Oh, you guys came from. Yeah, I remember now. You guys came from Palau. Burns Armored Cruiser 2, that, what that would mean an updated version of our um, Panzer Sheaths. Okay, better 15 inch guns. Um, Mark 3 15 inch guns now. It's 15 inch guns in German, so. <laughs> yeah, we probably already. Well, we could if we want to build a Bismarck, but no. Um, there is a stuff that is a lot more. Um, efficient. There's design ideas we could use that are a lot more efficient, and also we've passed the 15 inch gun in terms of our currently active calibers for actual constructions. Okay, we are resuming our Von Turpitz class now. Six months left there. Um, all the destroyers are out. All is good. All is grand. And we just, we just got more oil resources. Well done us. Okay, we're gonna be starting to mass export the V2s now. <laughs> this is only just a capacity reasons now. We don't need it for um, for increasing how big of ships we can make. Cause we have a, we can make ships over two hundred thousand tons that. That's not going to be a thing with um, dreadnoughts, with any current state of the game. Okay, so we've got like enough. We got enough tonnage. I'm going to, I'm going to pull, pull the von Scharnhursts in for refit. Saved a turret, um, a B turret. Sorry. Um, okay. Made them rotational again. That's good. That's grand. Um, that's a crook. That's a the. Better there. 
better there. All new and improved technologies get put onto the ship. Now these guys, these guys can wait for another. These guys can wait until they get massively rebuilt. Um, they do get a better speed out of this, they, but in what I mean by rebuilt is um, they can wait until they can wait another refit round until we need to actually refit these again. And so yeah, up to 24 knots with all the upgrades as well, so yeah, von Schoenhurst. Well done on surviving a refit without needing to um, lessen your guns at all. Uh, while we're here as well, while we're here as well, let's um, let's call in the let's call in the long-lasting ship, the long-lasting ships of these of this campaign, the Schwabel class light cruisers. Included in them, the famous Dresden. That works. Okay. Good turbines too. Electrohydro. New shafts. Keep the six inch, but it's um, being massively updated to twin turrets instead of the single mount you had. Um, you get better shell propellants, and you get your torpedo set up to the new. So the new setup that um, we have, 28, 29, 30, okay 29 is the fastest you can go. There's the struggles. Ah, uh, I'm gonna. This is gonna be funny. Um, I'm just now imagining. Um, I'm just now imagining the troubles going into the shipyards. With ships younger than them already being break, already breaking up, being broken up at the um, dockyards, and the crew, the crews on the travels are just playing staying alive through, through the retrofitted speaker systems that were put on the, <laughs> on the ship while some, um, they're going in for refit number <laughs> six million. <laughs> No, not six million, but like refit number ten or something like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other 
meanwhile, everyone in the dockyards is like, shut up! And all the um, people in the Navy who had just lost lost their positions on the ships that are being scrapped as well, like, shut up! <laughs> to every member of the Shravel class. As well as also strongly worded letters to the Admiralty of why the hell are those things still around yet? My ship got scrapped! <laughs> okay, there and there. So, next on the refit lines, the duts and sheaths. Okay, Von Scharnhurst. Good, good. And then the shrubbles. All good. German Empire, Great Britain. Oh, I just said no to something. Oh well. Oh well. Um, so yeah, we got our refits going. We've got our new builds going. I've got a shaking dog on me. Um, yeah, it's still going well. Hey, Jack. Why are you shaking? It's all fine here. See? It's all fine. You're getting the attention you so crave. Oh, is it because you're slipping on my legs? You're slipping on the material of my jeans. Bloody me, foul to sniff. Is it better now that you're on a surface that you're not going to slip off of immediately? No, that's not helping. Well, I'm going to take a few pillows off probably. That's your collar, boy. That's been on you. So yeah, next up on the refit lines is the Dutton Sheets and the V15s. Um, okay, five or six turns. Let's up our research budget again.
Not a cat. Let's see what will happen quicker, me composing an email or um Loading screen. Uh, get the unrest down, get the unrest down. Uh, mark four sixes. Okay, more loading screens. Flying to uh, give my team. Okay, so those refits are done, so I'm going to send the Dutsen Chiefs in next. At least with the Dutz and Shoes they don't have to do as drastic of measures as moving stuff to keep all the guns working. <laughs> Better Krupp, full AON, 
Those stuff is already the best, so that's helpful. That's now the best. That's set and I use two powder. Well that's fixed. Uh Yeah, and you're being fitted with increased super heavy shells. Done. email composed I had to do that email because I, I just received the thing for um, what it is and well I need to fill it out or else um, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble with uh, with universal credit um,
got four. That's that's great. We finally got that. Mark three sixteen inch. It's all safe, mate. Uh, yeah. This device, especially considering as well, I've Okay. Yeah, same as last time. Right, um That was just something I needed to uh check. We're still on my loading screen, that's good. Um I say needed to slash wanted to check because, yeah, I kind of. Argentina won a couple pounds of Chiefs. Okay, you can get a couple pounds of Chiefs, I guess. Um, oh, the Dutchens are out, so. Uh, next is the B15s.
let's see just how much of a mess. Okay, torpedo tube, tube wise, it's not a mess. But yeah, I kind of do need to increase you to 21 inch, because yeah, you're a 21 inch. We use 21 inches now for torpedo tubes, that is. Okay, uh, TNT, Electro Hydro 2. Damn it, you guys had reloads. You're not supposed to have reloads, you're destroyers, not like destroyer leaders or cruisers, you're just bulk standard destroyers. So you are hereby ordered to give up your um, extra your extra set of torpedoes you had in your reloads. Okay, V15. All is well. Right, um... <laughs> V15s didn't take up much space, did they? Uh, no, they didn't. We got about. I think we have enough left. I can actually pull in, pull in the Beethoven's in for refit as well. Um, Sorry, I'm getting distracted by um, <laughs> thinking of um, music equipment stuff. Okay. Uh, Beethoven's You guys are going to be massively rebuilt. I am not so I am not so kidding. You are being massively rebuilt. Um Yeah, we'll have a, essentially an entirely new ship after this. Um, we'll have a new sheaf after this. Um, new, the new ship. And the new 
ship will have some brand new, brand new, fresh off the line, 15 inch triple turrets. What do you mean it's overweight? We bloody refit the design and made it lighter by. Actually, no, we haven't made it lighter, have we? Have. <laughs> Yeah, while well, getting rid of um, Q, the Qs have done some sort of help. At least I think it hasn't done them much. In the grand, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, and the new Accordi, the. Radio Direction Finder and the Coincidence. The new Electro Hydraulic. A 2 1 naught, a 1 naught naught. 15 15. 4, because that's the t deck armor. Um, Okay, twin 15s. That seems a little feasible. Funny enough, they take up about the same size in terms of actual outward space. Somewhat helped, I guess. Okay, these are now a bit of a long nose. Yeah, it's a little. Fifteens don't work. Silent admits some form of defeat. They'll work in this layout. They do. <laughs> Beethoven, you have been um, refit. Refit, but don't get in too close to enemy vessels, I guess. Um, until we can refit you again with lighter stuff. Um, You know what, we're going to retire the Beethovens. Fun while they lasted, but yeah. Oh god, it seems like there's going to be another music feud going on, most likely. <laughs> It 
seems now Neil Salone of Journey has a problem with not only his bandmate Jonathan Crane, but now he has a problem with Avenged Sevenfold. Okay, right, um, yeah, Beethoven's, where are you, Beethoven, Beethoven's, uh, there, thank you, thank you kindly, um, you're retired. Effective instantaneously. So yeah, now we um, go to recruit the Von Siemens and uh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, this is gonna be fun, I guess, to me, because <laughs> I'm gonna have to freaking hope that the 15 inch guns still fit, because if they don't, me, uh, the Von Zeemans are screwed. Hold on a sec. Scarlet! I just need to finish it. Scarlet, you know you're a fan of The Cure. Well, they've announced their first new song in 16 years with an album to follow. Right, that needs to be given to my sister. Um, okay, one Siemens, don't. Don't. Oh, thank, oh, thank God, I can... Oh, thank God, they still live. Four inch mounts are in place placement as well. It's good. I already did that bit. Okay, last bit is Twenty-seven knots with the refit in place. That would be the Blinder Vatures or Blind Guardians. So Von Zeeman's original. Goodbye, Von Zeeman's rebuild. 
Hello, hello, hello. Okay, and once those new battleships come out, the new ones, not the rebuild ones, I will build the new battle cruisers. I'm just gonna put this back in charge. ships Seventeen inch. That'll then probably take up the next class after Zevon Turpin's class is completed because yeah. For battleship wise that is. As that seems the next logical step up from The calibers we were using. Do you all want to know an interesting fact I found out from our resident Mad Admiral yesterday? I found out that the Yamato in initial designs was um, supposed to have um, was supposed to have a mix of diesel and turbine driven engines in the initial design but it was never um, completed and welcome and back Japan <laughs> um, okay I guess 
we wait and see who we're next at Warweb, I guess. I give give I go 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 give a guess. Um Seems like Italy. Yeah, if Italy is the answer to that question I can I think I can take a one. Two. Yeah, let's prioritize that, please. Okay, we got the refits done. That's good. At some point after the stream ends, but before um, Probably do like a last once over clean of this thing um, tomorrow morning because I'm getting someone over, well, someone's coming over uh, tomorrow if it's, if they're still, <laughs> if they haven't chickened out of getting a base. Um, but yeah, I'm selling off uh, one of my base guitars. Mainly because I don't get use out of it, but also partly because, um, partly as well because I, I'm gonna, I'm wanting to try and get, um, better gear.
stuff there's going. Oh no. The Netherlands would oppose this sheaf. Just go on a couple more turns and I will Super Battleships are available now. Right, I'm going to I'm going to actually start the new design now and I'll come back to refits once the other battleships get done. I have to clean the, this this space off. I'm gonna have to then as well um, bring it into um, standard. This hull I know isn't the one that's meant to represent the sh I don't think it is anyway, the one that's meant to represent the Sharnhurst says the one that represents the Sharnhurst has a different um barbette structure on the back there. Okay, so the last battle cruisers we made were the Blinder Barchers, which is four fifteen inch guns. So uh four uh, triple damage guns. That's that's uh, the Blinder Vacher layout, and they are multiple thousands of tons heavier though than the large cruiser hull. I'm not going to use the large cruiser hull, I'm just going to go straight to modern battle cruiser. Because, yeah, this would be an actual show representation of um, design advancements within the Kaiser League Marina. As yes, we we have everyone made it this far, and we're still the Kaiser League Marina. Okay, so it turns out that we can't actually fit fifteen on that superimposed there, so. So yeah, compared to the Blinder Vachers, then they've actually got um, less main guns. Less main guns, they're heavier. You're running the um, new turret system we had brought in. Like, yeah, the four um, sides and Sorry about the turrets, just to keep those. Uh, you guys are going up to 33.
Okay. Literally only have one funnel type available, the Uber 2, so yep, that's it. Now the punishing part. Okay, there goes our weight, there goes our weight. Um, two, two, three on the extended for a 13 inch main belt. Two, one, nothing, one, nothing, nothing. Two, two, just an all two layout there. set these guys are going to be the um, the hello the Halloween class um, battle cruisers and they they make up well I guess I guess upgraded uh, new versions to the the, the Vodgers, although tones of actual main caliber punch, Blender Vodger has um, more well is better. Especially when we do give Blender Vodger the updated fifteen inch guns. So yeah, no design deletions this time, just um Okay, you're like uh, a little over half extra than the Blender Barchers. You are cheaper than The Vettens are cheaper than the Von Schliefens. You're cheaper than the Von Schliefens, you're cheaper than the Von Ter. Okay, so Halloween, Yorick, and Bayern, Bayern, oh. yeah. however the hell you say it, are now ready to go. Oh god, I didn't wait for fuel oil to... China's yeah, China's trying to retake Formosa. Well, they retook Pengu, so uh, good on them at least. Like China's actually, she's it's done. They've done better than they normally do in an Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought campaign. <laughs> that isn't them being controlled by the player because they still have most of their homeland left, they still have most of their fleet left um, yeah
although China have, they just need to retake Laodic Peninsula, which they're not, I'm not giving that up. And Wei Hai Wei, I'm also not giving that up. And then they would have taken back everything they lost to Japan, um, and they'd need some China back, I don't think France is giving that up, and Manchuria, I don't think the Soviets are giving that up. And then there will be complete success. Five months. The new boiler stuff there. It's not an AMI. I think so. Yeah, pounds at the new um the updated pounds of sheet type. At least for us it'll be um updated pounds of sheet type. I'm going to end the stream here. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you again. Sound service going silent.